Hey everyone, Tyler with Teradice here, and now the most exciting thing happened to me today as I was working out in the greenhouse, sorting some pots back and forth, and from the corner of my eye, I saw something very small run from the east wall to the west wall. And after some investigation and the unfortunate end of an incredible network of cobwebs, I found the culprit, our five-lined skink. Also known as Plestiodon fasciatus, this handsome lizard, like them all, was fashionably late to our reptile and amphibians talk, which was yesterday evening with the wonderful herpetologist, Abby Didomasi. Now, when you say the word reptile in Ohio, a lot of people conjure up the images of turtles, like painteds or maps, soft shells, snappers. Or snakes, your garter snakes, ring neck snakes, hognose, uh, gray rat snakes, even a copperhead or a rattlesnake. But not a lot of buckeyes picture lizards. Lizards are closely related to snakes and shelterpusics. And if you know what a shelterpusic is, you get a virtual high five. Well, not only do they share the same classification, reptiles, but they share the same order. Squamata, which represents about 10,000 species worldwide. Now, it's pretty easy to differentiate snakes and lizards. Most often, you can just look at the legs. Another thing you can look at is the ventral side of these animals. Snakes have big, wide scales, uh, one row that flows through their entire body, whereas lizards, on the other hand, have multiple rows of scales on their ventral side. That being said, lizards and salamanders, though they have a really similar body plan, are genetically very distant. They're actually in separate classifications. The salamanders, an amphibian, requires an aquatic component for their life cycle. And their skin is really moist and very, very smooth. Whereas a reptile has very dry and scaly skin. In Ohio, we have five recognized lizard species. We have the fence lizard. We have the little brown skink, the broad-headed skink, our five-lined skink, and the invasive European wall lizard, or the Lazarus lizard. And you can find these mostly in our lower third counties. Now, skinks are among the fastest reptiles in the world. And typical to their family, they can be a real grumpy pants when captured, thrashing and biting about. But no worries, because they're not venomous. In fact, any interaction poses a greater risk for them getting injured than us. Also known as the blue tail skinked, our five-line skinks, when they are juveniles, have this electric blue hue that runs down their tail here. It is a well-established lizard in the state of Ohio, but a rare sight where we are. This dollar individual is a fair-sized adult with five distinct uh, off-white or yellow-colored lines that runs down the dorsal side of this lizard, giving it its name, the five-lined skink. Now, this animal will often look for invertebrates, spiders particularly, but also crickets, to fill most of its diet. They prefer moist woodlands, like we have here at Teradice, and these rock walls sure do help here with basking and shelter. Now these lizards can live up to the age of six, but don't sexually mature until about two or three. And it's at that point that females will lay clutches of eggs up to 18 in number, anywhere from May through June. And now the females are notable mothers in skink species, as they have varying brooding positions uh, in which their skin makes some sort of contact with the eggs themselves, depending on moisture in the soil. A lot of it is a mystery to us still, but it's definitely intentional. There's a reason that she does that. As for the males, they are typically aggressive and territorial in nature, but do put up with juveniles and female skinks when they're around. All right, it is time to set our friend free here. 
Thanks, pal. Sorry to take this moment out of your day. I know you've got a lot of skink things to do. How exciting. Whew. I hope you are seeing as much wildlife as I have been seeing lately. And as always, take care. <laughs>